but here he got a boundary reminiscent oh that is problems if it's oh, gone. gone unbelievable it's a direct hit from Abdul Razak and everyone is stunned here what a wicket what a bonus unbelievable Gotham Gambi probably looking uh, to change the strike over looking to get to his 50 but he misread it misread this single the striker prompted Sehwag to come for that run and in Zamamul Haq and company were hoping that Razak gets it on target which he did in the end gone for 38 India well one down Sehwag gone 87 for one That's close. That's gone. That's out. That's a major breakthrough. It looked very close. The moment Gotham Gambir went across the line, it uh, was always going to be dicey. Well, he's not happy. Gotham Gambir is looking at his bat. He may have indicated that he may have got a tickle onto that one. But that's good swing bowling. This is what we were talking about. That's the length he has to bowl, curling into Gambhir, going across Gambhir and then being struck. Maybe a little hint of an inside edge, but then maybe not. We couldn't quite be sure, but looked like an inside edge. Gautam Gambhir has gone for 52, it's 108 for 2. Oh, taken, brilliant catch. Brilliant catch. Absolutely stunning catch. Yunus Khan has taken a blinder and Rahul Dravid will. What a wicket. What a breakthrough by Arshad Khan. Now, this is fantastic bowling from him. Well, you've got a game on now. Tremendous delivery outside the off stump. Pitched perfectly in those footmark areas. Off the pad and then on just taking the maker's name off the bat and what a catch that ball was traveling that was quick Yunus Khan has taken a terrific uh, catch 16 to drive it 118 for three that is ah! oh close very close and given yes brilliant delivery from Afridi it was always going to be close he's a bit like Anil Kumble he's quicker through the air he doesn't spin the ball much so VVS Luxman should have thought about it earlier. Modern day umpires tend to give these out. If the ball is straight, it doesn't matter whether you've got a decent stride going. No doubt where the ball was heading. The bat was hidden behind the pads. It's a fair decision from Simon Sokol. India 127 for four. Here's a top spinner, an off spinner and a very quick faster one. clean him up through the gate he doesn't believe it he's staying there he's not walking well everyone around there are very sure that that ball has cleaned up the Indian captain I think he's got to leave even though it may seem unbelievable to uh, Saurav Ganguly but I think it was pretty evident from where we are, were that that ball went through the gate. Yeah, he can't believe that that ball has come back. There was no doubt that it was a bold, but he was obviously surprised. Desperately wants some runs. He stood his ground. Simon Toffel actually had to tell him that he was out. We are not going to refer that to the TV umpire. In fact, he's looking at the giant screen just to confirm what we've all seen. Bowled by Afridi for two, India 135 for five and in deep trouble now. Doesn't help. The advice hasn't helped. Dinesh Karthik's off stump has gone for a walk. Great delivery from Mohammed Sami. He was calm and collective, was looking to bowl on a good line and produce a beauty.
famous in-swinging yorker from a Pakistani bowler doing the trick. Tipping in at the last moment. And in order to play such deliveries, you have to clear your front leg. Dinesh Karthik didn't do that and he had to pay the price. The gate is open for the Pakistanis. 164 for 6 India. Pakistan is going to level the series. And appropriately, that gateway of India. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. There's no doubt about it. Shahid Afridi has struck once again. The third time he's got the Indulgan. What a time for Pakistan. And what a delivery. What a delivery that one. Sachin Tendulkar was expecting the ball to turn away from the bat. And it wasn't the case. And not, he's not happy with himself. He's annoyed. But not the Pakistanis. Beautifully bowled. Straight a delivery. Fox. Sachin Tendulkar. Have a look. Well, this is the happy joint for the Pakistanis. Celebrations already. India in trouble. 164 for seven. Off the boot. Off the boot. I think they've got him. It looks dicey. It looks difficult. The body language is extremely positive from the Pakistani fielders. And I also thought for a second or so that the ball hit the toe of the shoe and locked back into the fielder's hands. It'll be interesting, very interesting. Well, they can't give it out, that's for sure. They've got to ask the third umpire. That may be, may be out. It's definitely off the boot. He's uneasy. Irfan Patan is not confident. I think that could be a very, very lucky wicket for Pakistan. That ball never touched the ground. It hit the toe. There you see. No explosion from the ground, from the pitch. Hit the toe. And that would be given as out. That's very clear to me, Ramiz, that it hasn't touched the ground. There's almost an inch there it's on the toe and off it to the batsman and he's gone he's out he's been given out unbelievable dismissal and what a wicket for pakistan at this stage lucky breakthrough yes and i couldn't quite understand why they changed ends at this stage but they've got their man they've got the eighth wicket playing onto his toe and into the hands of the fielder so the 8th wicket is down, it's 189 for 8 India. Ah! Oh, he's taken it. It seems like it. Yunus Khan has picked up a catch at silly point. The batsman is walking and the ninth wicket gone. It's Harbhajan Singh who's walking back to the dressing room. Kaneria looking skywards. Only one wicket now separates the two teams. Well, that was one of the best catches you could ever see. Yunus Khan was moving in. He wasn't still. Have a look. And the ball was pushed. He was juggling and at the last moment, he was able to hold the ball. Brilliant catch. Now Pakistan. Only one wicket away from leveling the series. Was a good effort, not to forget from Harbhajan Singh. 2 1 0 for 9. This time, have they got him? Yes, they have! Victory for Pakistan! And it is a phenomenal comeback by the team that was written off. They lost in Kolkata. They had a tough time in Mohali saving it. They've come back to square the series. And it is, I think, they deserve to win. Most certainly, yes. What a comeback from this young team. Balaji is not happy. But Pakistanis are ecstatic and rightly so. What a fight back. What a team. 
that Bob Woolmer and company have gathered. They look absolutely a fighting unit. The fans are 